Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning all about making dragon's teeth defensive structures in Valheim. Believe it or not, these are quite simple to make and really easy to use. First, let's show you how they work and why they're so useful. You've probably met one of these guys before, the trolls. The trolls have trouble dealing with the pathfinding of these logs because the logs move and that kind of makes them have to refigure out where they're going, right? So it's really easy for you to just jump over the log, but the troll can't do that. To illustrate just how useful this is, I'll show you some combat fighting a troll in the open field versus some combat fighting the troll in a place like this. So here we are with a troll and some gray dwarfs, which is pretty typical. I mean, when are you going to fight a troll and not get ambushed by gray dwarf? You know? So the problem with this is that the troll can catch up to us really, really quickly. Like here, I'll run away, try and draw my bow, right? And if I'm lucky, he's paths away from me for some reason, and then I can get another hit in, right? But normally he comes towards you. You can get one hit in and then you got to run away. So troll fighting has a lot to do with just shooting them once and then not getting hit by them and then running away, right? But you can see how I don't, I don't really have that many opportunities to fight this troll, right? Or to shoot. I get to shoot him once and sometimes the gray dwarfs get in the way. And sometimes I get lucky and I can shoot him twice before I have to run away. But see how so now, here we have the same situation, except we have all of these nice defensive structures. They get very confused by this. Let's actually start fighting, and you'll be able to see just how much easier it is for me to land hits on the troll. You can see that I still have to run away, but for the most part, it's very easy to just get into little gaps and then make the troll, like, run back and forth because it can't quite get to you. Like, see what I was just doing there? And you get so many more chances to shoot the troll before you get into that situation where you have to dodge his attack. And look at all this wood that you get as a result of doing this. Ha, huh, perfect timing. Ran out of arrows right as he died. <laughs> but not a problem, right? Because look at that, fighting this one troll in this field filled it up with wood. As you can see, these are very useful structures. I showed you with trolls, but the same premise works for all the enemies in the game, because you can buy yourself more time, because this rolling motion kind of makes the enemy have to rethink, and they go back and forth a little bit, and they can ultimately get to you. But just doing this and jumping to the other side of the log, something simple like that, causes the enemy to move around enough that you can shoot it two or three more times with the arrow each time that you do this. So it makes fighting enemies much, much easier than it is just in an open field. Because you... To illustrate just how incredibly useful these structures are, I'll fight this troll, which is a stronger troll, while there's a forest is moving event happening. And you'll see exactly what I mean. See how I can just sort of move around and that, where'd the enemies go? The Great War straight up left. <laughs> it's because they're so confused by all of these stumps. So you can basically just keep shooting stuff. Your accuracy is probably better than mine. As you can see, I keep missing the troll. And don't worry, that, that troll may look like he's very close to my base. But as long as they see you and they have a way to come to attack you, then they're either going to come and try and get you, or they're going to run away. And the troll was so scared of the defensive structures that he just YOLO'd. He straight up left. That ruined the whole point of trying to show you how to kill a troll while the raid's happening. So I'll just fight these guys a bit. And you can see the defensive structures in action. But you see how they're all like in a group like that? That's what these logs do. They make the enemy group up sort of like goblins do. In really interesting ways that don't normally happen. So now you see why these defensive structures are so useful in combat. But let's look at their other uses, because this actually falls right into the regular playthrough that you might have in Valheim. You don't have to do extra stuff to make these wooden dragon's teeth. 
all you have to do is cut trees down. But instead of cutting them all the way to get to where the wood is, you just cut them until they fall and do that to a whole area in a ring around your base. As you can see, the base is over here, right? And then in order to get to the base, the enemies in the raids have to walk through and get through the sort of disorganized, cluttered log area, right? By just cutting them down and then fighting near them, the monsters, especially the trolls, will just naturally process the wood down for you. And even just rolling the logs around will break it up, harm the enemies, and sometimes even the gray dwarves will process the wood down that way. Now, let's imagine that you wanted to make these structures for the first time. To begin, you have to sort of survey the land around your base. It'll work better in a flat area like this that already has good pathing, path so the enemy can already walk straight through it and get to your base. That's the best place to put the dragon's teeth. But we can see over here in this end, there's this sort of vulnerability where trolls and stuff can just waltz right in here. I mean, look at that. It's basically a troll path right into the base. All you need is an axe. You don't even need a bronze axe. You could use a stone one, really. And what you do is you just chop the trees, but then as soon as it falls, you just leave it be. And just keep going around until there's lots and lots and lots of logs. Oh, what a perfect opportunity. As I'm making this video and chopping these trees and finishing it up, our friend shows up. Perfect timing. You can see that the area that once was a clear, easy troll path now has all of these awkward angles and he's already hesitating look at that you know when a troll hesitates they get shot in the face that's just kind of how this works isn't it huh you see how i jumped over here but he can't jump over so he has to go all the way around and meanwhile i can just keep shooting him Oh, how convenient is this? He showed up at the perfect time to finish off the video. Look at that. See how simple it is with these logs to distract the trolls from squishing you? It works great, and it also works well for all the other enemies. All, all right, that's it for this video, everybody. If you like this content and you want me to keep making more Valheim videos, consider supporting my work by purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. This is a great way for you to play at Valheim with your friends for one to three months. I wouldn't expect to have a server longer than that, just because most people naturally are going to have a Valheim session, sort of like a D&D &D session. It's, it's a beautiful, amazing game, and it's well worth your time. So if you have a question or anything you'd like me to make a tutorial about, or you think something other people are confused by that they'd like a tutorial about, then comment below and let me know. I love to make videos in response to comments and suggestions and questions from you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!